Check it out. <laughs> That's crazy because I've been to the smaller building. I had no idea they had this huge one. I'm sitting outside a gin right now and I had no idea it was this huge because when I randomly came upon it a few months ago, it was a small building and I thought that was it. But man, I just rolled up on their actual offices and it's like two warehouses. Uh, they have a gate, huge windsock up there. I'm excited to go in and check this place out because uh, I guess this is where it all goes down for Jen. And I'm excited to get a win. Yeah, too bloody. house and another side we have a like inspection room okay so every wing every harness every rescue when we receive from the factory and we open everything and the check to do the inspection to avoid any like a mistake right okay yeah Twenty six meters. But Falcon size twenty six. I don't know which. Uh, how many? How much is the area? The area. Right. Wow. That's small. That's very really small now. Good. My name is Jedi. Jedi is, uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, like Star Wars, but he is giving <laughs> us a tour of the gin factory. Yeah. Sweet, let's go check it out. So, yeah, that's our simulator room. So here is where we have the harnesses. We hang out, we check if everything is well done. We also have the machines for testing or for printing. So, and it's also our photo studio. We make pictures of the catalog and everything here. Yeah. Very cool. That's a workshop. This you have to remove shoes here. Okay. Here mainly we made two things. This is for... Uh, we have some production here, so all the, the end up. There's people working to produce products, okay. already final products. So some of our production, more of our harnesses are done here. Uh, and accessories and this kind of stuff. And then... Uh, Testing team, R&D team uh, from paragliding. Also, they, these lines are from prototypes or whatever. So they open the wings here. We work on the wings also here, and we have our lines for paragliding. So it's kind of paragliding and harnesses and accessories. Also, R&D is done here. Okay. We produce prototypes on these things here. Awesome. Not, not gliders, but this is yeah, conference room. We used to have meetings with providers and everything here. And then this is harvesting, so R and D. Can you explain why these plants have names on them? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I know this is Eugene, and the rest, I, uh, Maria. So Maybe. this plant is named Maria. Yeah, I just, I just know it must be quite small. Then. Oh, Idris. <laughs> yeah, I met him. Yeah. So the, these plants are named after uh, people that work here. Yeah, I think so. Like, cannot find my one. Where's yeah? Where's your plant? <laughs> Maybe somewhere there, I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to find it. Yeah. Maybe it's this one right here. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, why the names are on the plants? The names? Yeah. Ah, because we have each, each person has to take care of like uh. Oh, so you don't have to take care of a plant? No, you don't have. So you're, you're getting away with it. <laughs> no. Where's your, where's your plant? Is this one? Is oh, this one? Oh, the bigger one. Do you take good care of it? Yeah, I do. You water it every day? Uh, not every day, maybe two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to take care of him every, every day. What is? Oh no, no, this is not. That's un <laughs> unacceptable. No, that is not. <laughs> what? What is? What's the name of this plant? Do you know what kind yeah, it is? I don't know actually. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the speed jacket, designed by Jedi himself. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. 
This is a product we already launched uh, late this year, 2019. And the speed jacket, it was originally thinking to debil uh, improve the performance of the pilot for XC flights, reducing the drag that the pilot uh, is uh, producing when he's flying. So for this jacket we have a new design, which is a new line of design we are using for harnesses and all our products. That's, uh, this is striped, it's the one we are using now. And it's kind of a special coating uh, that we use not only for the clothing, but also for the harnesses like Verso or the new Jin Light 3. And, and yet yeah, this is a new way that Jin Light has been developed product. Pretty sweet looking, and that's the design you're talking about right there, right? Yeah, this is Aerocool fabric, which is uh, drying. It's one of the fastest uh, drying uh, fabrics in the market these days. Yeah, super so it's thin. It's only not super comfort because it's stretchable, four way stretch. It's also good for. It, it offers a good performance for sportive uh, clothing stuff. I like it. I'm excited to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you very much. Welcome. First time breaking the Gen Falcon out of the bag. Huge shout out to Chris Santa Croce for hooking me up with this wing. Went over to the Gen offices and picked this bad boy up. The Falcon, haven't taken it out yet. Stuff sack, we'll check that out in a little bit. And here it is in all its glory. The Gen Falcon. velcro strap kind of hurts my heart opening it in this slightly wet field but you know it's gonna end up being in a wet field at some point Ooh, some goodies right there stickers and probably some repair tape dream touch believe and I think they hooked me up with uh, 2d steering as well these lines are super bright, super clean. Oh, the spongy ground. Look at that. Nice. You want to say first impressions? First impressions. Trying to figure out where the brakes go. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, I only got about 10 minutes on it because I got really cold. But I think I like it. I had a pretty um, crappy form on takeoff and it felt like I was being pushed forward. Maybe, maybe I did have a slight tailwind. I don't know. Um, he helped hold the wing up. In true Korean fashion, those guys do that a lot here. Uh, but in flight, I need to spend more time on it, but it felt like super solid when I would go into a turn or whatever. i just pull and I would just go. Uh, it's kind of weird, but um, it landed nicely. There's no wind right now, and if there is any, I don't know where it's coming from. I thought it was fine. I had to run pretty far to get it to come down. Tip steering, still, I gotta learn a little bit more about that, but uh, yeah, I don't know. And overall, it seemed pretty good so far. I need to spend more time on it before I can give it a honest review, but I'm liking it, liking the newness and the color and the genness and everything, so 
Thanks, super fly. Appreciate it.